Four or five months ago, I bought this. You might be thinking, Jerry, what the f is that? It's got a hot end that's dangling. Power supply isn't connected. There's no print surface, really. It's wobbly. What the hell is this? That's where... I never posted the video! This is funky. There is U... This was shipped via USPS. So there's UPS packaging in here. We have broken belts, or we have dismembered belts. This motor mount right here, guys, this motor mount is completely bent. Totally, completely, 100% bent. Like, this thing? Nah, that ain't okay. Oh gosh, what did I get myself into? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh wait, we're, we're moving. We're moving. Anyway, guys, I bought a used Elgu Neptune 2 or 2S. I don't even remember what I bought, but it was like 69 bucks and it was a four parts printer. I got it in, worked perfectly fine. The only issue is some things just felt weird, like it was wobbly for some reason. Uh, the previous owner stole the print surface. Um, and all of this, I disassembled this, I harvested some parts, I took the extruder, but it worked perfectly. So, guess what? I did it again. And here we go! My brand new, used, broken, four parts, Elgu Neptune 2. And guys, this box looks a hundred times better than the box that the previous printer came in, so we're about to get this thing open and figure out of uh, what this even is. So, without further ado, let's go. Now, I fully expect that this is a dysfunctional printer, but the box for the other machine was complete disassemble array, total garbage. And everything was dirty. It looked like someone bought a brand new printer, disassembled their old one, and then put it, the rest of them just threw them in the box. No packing foam, absolutely nothing. And when I saw this box, I thought, okay, I can't even put a sleeping bag back in its bag, its carrying pouch. How on the earth would I ever package a 3D printer back in the box? And so this thing was delivered. I was like, I gotta dig in. This is like a brand new printer. This thing was 59 bucks. And guys, it looks brand new. <laughs> And so, when I open it up, um, I have a cat. When I open it up, I have a paper. This doesn't normally come in here. It says, do not return before speaking with us. Please keep this slip in the shipping box for 30 days. I'm not going to read the rest of this now. I've got someone's glue stick. Okay, so someone clearly opened this. Um, oh, don't know what this is. This is some, like plastic old looks like a really tore this thing to, to shreds so this is not exactly what I was hoping to find when I opened this thing but uh, let's keep on going so there are loose pieces everything appears to be square more loose pieces oh Let's see. They really did a good job packing this thing. You know what they did? I, I, I really do think they probably bought a brand new one and then returned the old one. They unscrewed their entire old printer and put it back in the box. So, ah, would you look at this? So we have a completely busted heating pad. So I don't know what they did here. It looks like they stabbed it with a knife or something. Uh, you know, you're going to get crushed. Squish that cat. All you need to know is to squish that cat. Then you just gently squish them. No cats are gonna be harmed in the making of this video. All right, we've got a gantry here. This 
looks a little taller than one anyway. Uh, some hex hardware. This does not come with this. This is a third party piece. We have a whatever that cable is. Okay, I'll look. A random screw, a random uh, spring. This looks like a spring that goes to an extruder. Uh, all right, this probably is a bed leveling screw and a bed binder clip thing. I have no idea. Let's see, some more bed leveling uh, screws or handles, a filament holder, and then, oh, there's, oh, wait, wait, there's more loose parts. Hold on. All right, so another binder clip and another screw. And I just, like, look at this. Look at this, brand new on the inside. This power supply, brand new. This is a brand new power supply. We have some of this stuff, like, that's got some fuzz on it. The Z-axis leads got some fuzz on it, but no worries. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the this is one of the uh, the Z-axis bars. Uh, it looks a little bit worn and used, um, but I mean, some of this stuff is brand new. We have a really, really nice scraping knife or uh, plate knife. A power cord. The Neptune 2 user guide, user manual, and a bag of filament, tons of hardware, and a little, uh, this is inside of a Ziploc bag. Could you believe that? And then, guys, guess what? Another random spring, the second random spring, and uh, yeah, so that's what's in the box. This is what you could expect if you buy a $59 used four parts printer off Elgu's website, um, you hit, you, or sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Like this printer over here, um, this one was a complete disassembled array mess just like this one. Uh, and it was $59 as well, I believe. I assembled it, it worked flawlessly. It looks like uh, between the two printers, I'm gonna have a perfectly functional brand new machine. So 59 plus 59, $118 uh, out the door and uh, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of extra parts so I'll have a couple extra motors an extra power supply yada 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 anyway guys uh, if you want to purchase one of these used four parts machines uh, because you want to take the gamble to see if they work I'm gonna have a link in the description on where you can find that uh, but anyway um, this is what you get in one of those uh, $59 printers guys catch you on the next one have a happy new year and uh, Merry Christmas. Bye guys.